to a story you'll only see on the news at 11. A well-known dance school searches for the right steps after the completion of an internal investigation. Former and current faculty at Joy of Motion Dance Center accuse an administrator of race and pay discrimination. That investigation is now complete. Our Larry Miller looks at how the school plans to move forward. And in full disclosure, Larry has also attended some dance schools, dance classes, I should say, at the school. Dozens of former and current faculty at Joy of Motion Dance say incidents of race and pay discrimination have plagued the school. Staff are divided among three locations, two in D.C. and one in Bethesda. When faculty began to talk amongst themselves about what they say was going on in the school. We started to realize that there was a commonality, a common thread, a common through line through all of these particular issues. More than 20 former faculty members signed a letter detailing alleged incidents of misconduct over the years. The allegations center around a top level administrator named in the letter. For example, the April 4th letter detailed the alleged story of a female student who was told to quote, stop acting ghetto when posing for a photo in front of her friends and teachers. The letter adds, the student ran off in tears. Maurice Johnson started teaching at the school back in 1999. Like many of the staff, his employment was terminated in April because of mandatory shutdowns related to the pandemic. He received an offer letter for a new position, but has yet to sign a contract with the school. He described for us another incident he says he witnessed in 2016. He said that the named administrator made a racially charged remark about a black auditionee for one of the school's programs. It had to be approximately 20, 25 kids auditioning. Uh, there was only one African-American in the audition at the time, a little young African-American female. So I just stood back to watch the audition silently applauded these kids for their strength and bravery. Um, and at that time, I heard a very racially insensitive and off-color joke made um, in regards to this one African-American female. Uh, and the comment was, and I quote, ooh, look at that little black girl. Uh, it was said in such a demeaning and hurtful manner that there was no mistake and what that comment represent. The letter also detailed examples of pay discrimination. It describes some faculty receiving rates 20 to $30 less than others, and some receiving bonus pay based on the number of students, while others do not. The letter prompted an investigation by its board of directors. In a July 3rd email sent to staff and WUSA 9, it said, an investigation into concerns raised by a group of former faculty is now complete. Through this process, we became aware of conduct that is inconsistent with the policies and values of this organization. The individual named in the complaint is no longer with the organization. We apologize to anyone who has been hurt or made to feel uncomfortable by anyone acting or claiming to act on behalf of Joy of Motion. The letter also demanded the removal of the entire board of directors. In a statement to WUSA 9, the board said they are committed to making the board more inclusive and are seeking the input from staff and our constituencies to ensure the future of the organization. Now that was Larry Miller reporting. By the way, we did not name the administrator in question as the name was not confirmed by the school and we were not able to reach the former employee.